Howdy all, it's Liam here from Gaming Master Race and I'd like to share with you um, a short story which is my biggest gaming regret. Now, during our childhood, obviously back then we, we didn't really know a game's value or anything's worth and we would probably just sell our games and consoles on so that we could buy the next big thing and this is pretty much that story. So when I was a lot younger, um, I can't remember what I was doing, I think I was probably just playing my Sega Mega Drive and my stepdad came into my room and he was reading the loot paper. Now, for those who don't know, the loot is where you used to sell all your goods. There was no eBay back then, so we would we would search the papers, the loot, and I think they have their own website now, and I don't even know if the paper's still going for anything that we wanted. So my stepdad came into my room whilst I was playing on my Sega Mega Drive, I believe, and said, do you want a Sega 32X? And I had no idea what a Sega 32X was. I don't think I ever remember reading about it in a newspaper. Uh, sorry, not in a newspaper, in um, a gaming magazine. So naturally, I said yes. So what we did is we phoned up the people and we organised to meet them at their house where they were selling it. So I can't remember where exactly we, we got the bus to, but we jumped on a bus and I think it was we went to Dagnum. I think that's where it was. Um, which is located in Essex near London, <laughs> for those who need to know. Um, I was living in Romford at the time, so it was only one bus drive away, or one bus journey away. Um, and I remember going into the, 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 the people's house, and I remember going into the bedroom of the kid that owned the 32X, and we checked it over, and it was like this weird mushroom device, and, you know, I, I have no idea whether or not it had all the cables with it or anything, because I had no idea what this thing was and how it was set up. I just, we, we literally went on... Um, on his good faith. So we bought this thing, and I have no idea how much my stepdad paid for it, but it was a 32X which came, which came with six games. And those six games were Doom, Mortal Kombat 2, Star Wars Arcade, Virtua Fighter, Virtua Racing Deluxe, and... That's right, Knuckles Chaotix. So I was really excited. I remember actually being in this room and, you know, the, the kid was actually playing a Sega Saturn. He was playing Virtua Cop and I remember that distinctively because I absolutely loved Virtua Cop and I loved playing it in the arcade and I was thinking, wow, I didn't even know this was out, in con you know, out on, on a console. And, you know, seeing the Sega Saturn for the first time, I was really, really impressed and kind of excited as well, even though it wasn't me that was playing it anyway. We, we took the 32X away and we, we took it home and I plugged it all in and tried out all my games, etc. And, you know, I was really, really happy with it. You know, I got to play Virtua Fighter, which, you know, I mean, at the time, I think Virtua Fighter 2 may have been out in the arcades. But the closest thing we had at home was, was the 32X version of Virtua Fighter, unless you had the Sega Saturn version. So I'm really impressed with all these 3D graphics because at the time I didn't have a PlayStation. Um, and it was it was really cool. Even And I think like some of the most played games on there was probably, for me... Virtua Racing, Virtua Fighter and Star Wars Arcade. They were like the most played games. And I didn't really pay much attention to something like Knuckles Chaotix, you know. I mean, it wasn't a very good game, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, I mean, I kind of put it to one side and left it there. And, you know, I played a little bit of Doom. But I think Star Wars Arcade was probably my favourite game of the system that I had. So I decided to buy a couple of other games. And FIFA Soccer 96 was one of them. Um, I'm a big football fan. And so, you know, I wanted to play a football game and I thought, oh, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more powerful. It's going to be, look, the graphics are going to look better. So I bought FIFA 96 expecting it to be, I think I may have seen a clip of the of the PlayStation version of FIFA 96. And I think I remember it having commentary and it feeling really realistic for the time. But um, yeah, when I put the 32X version in, it was absolutely nothing like that. Um, and I was really, really disappointed with it. So I, I ended up taking it back and re um, and replacing it for a, a golf game, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, and I don't remember the name of the golf game. Uh, sorry, it's called Golf Magazine 36 Great Holes. Um, so um, I decided to get that one instead. And that was actually a really decent game. You know, I quite like a golf game. I was really, um, I, was, I really enjoyed PGA Tour Golf 2 and PGA Tour Golf 3 on the Sega Mega Drive. Um, so yeah, I was quite happy with this one. So anyway, 
Um, I just eventually, I think I must have had the console for maybe about six months, if that. And you know, the option came. You know, we said like, you know, if you can, my stepdad come to me again. I was quite spoiled when I was a kid, and said, you know, if you can raise some money, we will get you a Sega Saturn. <laughs> so the first thing I thought was, well. If I'm going to get a Sega Saturn, I'm not going to need my Sega Mega Drive or my 32X anymore. So, um, funny enough, uh, my stepdad then again said to me, um, I've got a friend who will take the, the 32X off of you. So I said, okay, well, well how much does, does it, will you get, want to give me for it? And he said, well, £35 for the lot. So, I thought this was an old console and I thought it was dead. So, I agreed. So I've sold my Sega 32X with seven games, including Knuckles Chaotix, for £35 to put towards a brand new Sega Saturn. And that's my biggest gaming regret, because if I can go back to myself today and speak to my younger self, I would slap him around the face so hard and tell him not to sell this system with any of these games. Because the system alone now is worth about 130 pounds, and yeah, that's just for the that's just for the add-on. Knuckles Chaotix boxed with instructions. You're looking at about close to about maybe 150 pounds, 200 pounds upwards. The 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 system is worth a fortune, and this is something I sold for 35 pounds to get a Sega Saturn of all things. So that is my biggest gaming regret. If you enjoyed the video, I would really like to hear your biggest gaming regrets as well so post some video responses and make me aware of them by commenting below or you can at me on twitter at gamingmasterra2 if you do if you did enjoy the video please hit like subscribe and i'll see you next time